<coughs> from when air that I'm me. Hello, dumb friends. I'm back again. Do you guys love Hello Kitty? Well, of course, who do love Hello Kitty? Me personally, I am a fan of the Hello Kitty merchandise. Mm -hmm, me, well, that's besides the point. After today's story, you might just not be able to look at them the same. Maybe. Well, no, I said this is going to be the case, but maybe. As seen in the title, today's story is about the Hello Kitty murder. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. But no, no, I wonder where the hell, why a case with a name, the Hello Kitty murder. This, something just not add up right here, so this just sounds stupid. This sounds like, say, we're going to talk about some little baby story. Mm -mm. No, take it off of your mind. Take it off of your mind. But I'm explain. I'm going to give you a little gist. A small, small. A lady's decapitated head was found inside a Hello Kitty teddy. Oh, it reached in there? I'm going to talk about that. In May 1999, a 14-year-old girl referred to as A Fong walked into a police station in Hong Kong and told the police that she was being haunted by the ghost of a dead woman. Mm -hmm. She went on to tell the police that this ghost would appear to her bound with electric wires and had blood all over her body. At first, police did not believe her and thought she was on some illegal... Sh illegal, I can't say. Illegal thing. Mm -hmm. Them things she mad. You know? I'm a no... Them did want to run her, and one of them did want to say, Look a girl, come out. And go on and one church. You ever hear say, gun can shoot up here? But them never say nothing to her. Them just think she mad, and then just dead here and make she talk. She continue for talk, right? So the 14 year old was just explaining to the police about what's happening to her, and they didn't believe a word that was coming out of her mouth. Until she told police that she was actually involved in the murder of the ghost lady and she knew where the body was hidden. No, the police, them, I won't, mm, them start listening and I must say, mm hmm, we're listening. Talk now. You have an undivided attention. Continue talk. The little girl explained that the ghost had been haunting her for weeks and it wouldn't stop until she confessed. The police then followed Ah Fong, the little girl, to a building in the Kowloon area in Hong Fong, and what they found only persons with a strong heart can overcome the site. Nobody can cross it. Only fishermen or fisherwomen, trust me. No, the police said that what they saw haunted them for a very, very long time. It was nothing like their usual crime scene. The apartment was full of Hello Kitty things. Curtains, towels, sheets, silverware, all of them Hello Kitty. So they walk into the room, it looked like a happy room, like something girly. Because as they walk in, the bed set, the sheet set, sorry, the sheet set, Hello Kitty. The curtain then, Hello Kitty. Everywhere, Hello Kitty doll there, every single where. You can go look up the case. And you got so many at all, but right? But knowing what we know now, it is not a happy little room. Anyways, there were a lot of Hello Kitty stuffed dolls all over the place, but one of the dolls really stood out. Yeah, the particular doll there. As them going there, them just to say, mm -mm, something wrong with the dolly there over there, so. Yeah. It was an oversized Hello Kitty mermaid doll, and what was inside? I'm already tell you no, the lady Ed, the lady Ed in the dolly swap. Jesus save her. Anyways, the police were horrified and could not believe that such brutality could be performed by another human being. So the police are wonder, oh a person, for the next person like this, oh them other the art, for the next person like this, basically. And not only police, but one of the investigators later said that he'd never seen such a cruel case in his 21 years in the police force. Sana no pretty. And a little cupcake and rainbow we are top, boy. 
our nasty piece of skin. All right. So let's talk about the lady now. The lady with them find her eight in other stuff doll. Me could talk about she now so I understand the story more. Her name was Fan Money. From an early age, it was said that Fan's life was filled with misery. And it all started when her parents walked out on her as a baby. She grew up in a girl's orphanage. And just a side note, but not all orphanage are bad. Manasse, all of the orphanage them out there bad, but some of them terrible, awful, like the one Fan was raised in. At the age of 16, Fan was kicked out of the orphanage because they said she was old enough to take care of herself. So Fan had nowhere to go, she couldn't find a job, so she went to the streets doing whatever she could to survive. She had an addiction for drugs and she was into doing small crimes then turned around and sold her body to pay for it. Now the documentary did say petty crimes. So I wonder what she could have done so. Or just an example when I said this she do. But let's say for example she go in a KFC right for rob the place. So you know she go in there for rob money. Maybe she take out chicken. You know, she just had to tell them, gather everything, gather everything. Gather the biggest fold them round there. Pack them up, pack them up. She left with all. You would have think, say, when she go in a KFC for rob the place, she had to come out with money. Every chicken we, we done fry. Even the one them would depend on the hot oil, she had to tell them, mm -mm, put them in the bag here. When I reach home, me will fry them. So, in a year, man, I think, say, all right, somebody go rob KFC. They're going to come out with enough money, enough chicken, everything. No. She go in there. She tell everybody, say, all right, stop. Well, up on on, blah, 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 with the gun. Just take up a juice and leave. Yeah. She go in there, go rob the place and just leave with a juice. So, something petty like that. And then she turn around, sell her body for pay for the juice or she teeth. Yeah, something petty like that. Mm -hmm. Fan met her husband in May of 1996 when she was working as a dancer in a nightclub. They tied the knot pretty quickly, mean them get married, and then they had a little son. Since Fan had her son, she started to feel different. She felt a sense of belonging with her family to take care of, but, but, with her husband who was also a drug addict, things weren't going well. Neighbors heard them fighting all the time. Every day, them fight. Every day. No break. Every day. Fan decided to put her life together for the sake of her son. She went looking for a job. And soon she started working as a nightclub hostess. Fan even tried to work on her drug addiction. So she really did a try. And what we'll forgive her that. She did a try. She did a try for be a better mother. Well, she did a try for be a better wife, but it never had a word. The man just want to beat her every day. So skip the part there. Mother, yeah. She did a try for be a better mother. She want to get her life together for her son's sake. And it did a work, you know. It did a work. Everything did a go smooth. But, 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 why there's always a but? But I curse you. But, unfortunately, this wouldn't be for long. In 1997, Fan met a man by the name of Chan. Chan Manlock. And he was a 34-year-old pimp and a drug dealer who became one of her regular customers. Remember? She has still her body, so the mother look nasty. Plus, he might give her drugs. Wait, pause the story, little. She did a good do good, dinner. She really did a do good. See, one mistake can cause her to lose her life. Take heed and be careful. Alright, dumplings? Okay, back to the story. So, as a notorious drug dealer... And the leader of an organized crime ring, this Chan guy was very dangerous. The type to stay the hell away from. But poor, poor fun, poor fun. Her addiction allowed her to not see this. So she never, if, <laughs> but now I laugh, ain't no funny. You ever hear somebody say blinded by love? So she was well blinded by her drug addictions that she didn't see that this man 
or just somebody you know want um, get mixed up with if you see my come on the right kindly take the lift if one day you walk on the road and you see my come run off run no business if nobody want to look on you and say oh, she mad make them say you mad run you know why you are run run off but she never know she never know we could just leave it at that so she got really close to this guy really 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 close if you know what i mean and he eventually became her dealer since the money fan was making at the club and the money she was making from selling her body was not enough to take care of her son herself buy drugs cover her bills you know and all the little things them what the young girl them want do especially when you're young and fresh and green mm -hmm, they want money for splurge so she fun look at money where she make at the the club it now nah, cut it the money where she make from doing the little street work it now nah, cut it so she got to do something more we're gonna end up cost our our life which she never did offer do it i think this is great but that's my opinion let's get back to the story after one of their sessions ended, Fan and Chan, after they got done doing the nasty nasty, mm -hmm, Fan took Chan's wallet and she stole $4,000 from him. Chan soon found out that his money was missing and who was with him last? Right, Fan, she, she and him did the last. So the man right away knows say, a she thief him money. The man na dumb. I may just did the right there, so I'm a money missing magic. Me know are you. Chan demanded that Fan should pay him back every single cent that she stole, plus ten thousand dollars interest. Jesus Savior, where she go get it from? Eh? Where she going to get it from? She not have no money no. She, this a wickedness. This a evilness. No. Fan managed to pay him back the $4,000 that she stole, but asked for some time so that she could get the rest. The $10,000 way more for interest. So she paid the $4,000 with she thief, right? But she not have no more money, so she beg him a little more time for gather the rest of the money for paying back. But him not want this. Nope. Mm -mm. Him want everything one time. So... Chan then decided to do something very, very disturbing. In 1999 of March, Chan sent out two of his minions. Listen, you know them are Chinese, so I can't pronounce them name. But you know, we could just call them two of minions them. So, he sent out two of his minions to go and kidnap Fan and take her to him. Chan would invite his friends and associates to the apartment where he kept fun to violate and abuse her any way they wanted and they would pay him. This sound like something Gertrude would do. If you don't know, listen to the story there. I'm gonna go listen. Gertrude. Gertrude. Burn in hell, Gertrude. Cause we hate you. So this sound like something Gertrude would do. So. At this him did I do. Sean, after some time, decided that getting his money back from Fan wasn't enough. He wanted to punish her and use her as an example for the other girls who might be tempted to steal from him. Yeah. Listen. I look, look at young girls them out there. On a native of young ladies. I'm telling you this no. Do thief from the boy. If you not think about it, don't do it. Not do it. Alright. This decision that Chan made got really, really, really bloody quick. The three men, Chan and two of his minions, they took Fan to a third floor apartment on Granville Road where they tied her up with electric wires and began to beat her. Poor fan. She get licked from every angle. To shut her up so no one outside could hear her screaming, they used dirty rags to gag her and continued to beat and torture her for weeks. 
Ha-Fang, that had a 14-year-old girl who got the police, the little, mm-hmm, she, she was 13 at the time, and she was Chan's girlfriend. Now, remember, Chan had 34, you know, and she had 13, and she and the drug lord there. Now, you them something? Mm-hmm, so, that had gone. She, she would visit Chan, and that's when she saw Fun. So the little girl, because our, you know, our man, she visit him time to time, and a social say, fun. So she go there one day and see him and him and them a beat up the fun lady. Me just a explain so I understand. Instead of telling her boyfriend to stop and that what he's doing is wrong, she participated in this cruelty. Mm hmm. She took part in torturing Fan. One time, Ha Fang saw Chan hitting Fan in the head multiple times and she literally joined in. She would later tell police that she thought it was for fun. Yeah. You pull up at your boyfriend's house and you see my beat, a female, in her head with an iron pipe. And you start beating her head to with a next iron pipe. If you know, follow me. And you think of a fun? No, you think this is a game? You know what I'm for do? If I put the little girl here out in the sea. Mm -hmm. Yes, when the shark come for her, then for tell her to laugh. Don't run in her. Laugh. Remember, this is all fun and games. Nothing serious is go on. Shark is go bite you. Laugh. I'm going to come play with you. Laugh. That them for do her disgusting every day they would come up with new ways to torture and abuse fun including burning her flesh with plastic and candle wax Bomba! this sad enough no a plastic bag ever burn your skin yet yeah you know we little and we say look up our parents them catch fire we go there a trouble the fire you ever have a plastic bag in your hand and that catch a fire and you go flash it and that drop on your skin? Flesh a peel out, you know? You know that art? G <clears throat> Say no one is not pretty. All of this wrong. Oh man, all of this wrong. All of this wrong. When they weren't torturing her, they would be in separate rooms playing video games like nothing was wrong. Like this and not to them. Um, hello, wanna sit down and play a game? There's a lady in the next room dying. But them know this already, right? So, okay. So, this went on for a good while. A whole month. And Fan became weaker and weaker from all of the torture that she was going through. So, she was so weak that she couldn't stand up or move. She would just lay there. You know, she just lay down there, they take the lick them. She not move. She not even... This... So, I guess at this point, she was numb. Never think it possible for numb to the pain. Or numb from the pain. Whichever way you look on it. But, now this is up right here. So, she not react no more. She just lay down and say, alright. Let me. She not say it, but I'm just a say. She just lay down there at the lake. She can't run, and it's sad. So, mm -hmm. They even burned the bottom of her feet. The men decided that because she wasn't reacting to the beatings anymore, that it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun anymore. She wasn't fun to beat anymore. One of them came up with a very cruel decision to tie her up in the air by her wrist and use her as a human punching bag. So that's what they did. They tied her wrist with an electric card and then used the other end of the electric card tied to the ceiling fan and used her as a human punching bag. And that's where they left her for hours, sometimes even overnight. So them just have her hang down by her wrist. Yeah, them bone her by her wrist. So yeah, she hang down by her wrist. In at the ear. Sometimes them leave her overnight. Bomba! You know what? We're going to just hurry up and talk about this story here. 
Me ita get to me. Maybe ita get to me. Ita get to me. So. On April 15, 1999, the group of men decided to go out for dinner and left Fan locked up in the bathroom. When they got back, they found her dead. R.I.P. R.I.P. Fun. Alright. Them finally killed the girl. Leave her alone now. No. Mm -mm. No, no, no. To cover up their crime, they put her inside a bathtub and cut her into pieces using a saw. And then boil different pieces of her body. And then, get this. Them actually, you see the pot and the spoon and everything. All of the utensils that them use for her dead body. Them use the same some of them cook them dinner. Now, tell me, this is a group of mad people, this. A mad man. Once they finished boiling the remains, they threw some of them away with household garbage, but left the half-cooked head, which they stuffed inside the Hello Kitty mermaid doll, and sewed it. I think them say them skin it, and them take off all of the skin, and it was only the skull, but they weren't sure. But I think them say them skin it, the head. But some documentary said them skin it. Some of them say it was just the head inside after cook. We don't know. We never did it. So we're not going to take up that part over it right now. Chan then ordered his minions to feed some of the remaining parts of Fan's body to the dogs. And her internal organs were put in plastic bags and were stored inside the fridge. So we are wrapping up now, right? We are wrap up, we are wrap up. The police found all of these things inside the apartment and then the three men were arrested. During their trial, Ha Fang, the 14-year-old girl, she testified against them, spilling everything she knew and everything she saw in the apartment. However, the men heavily denied killing Fang. They pointed fingers at each other for torturing Fang. So them say... You know, send a week, killer. Mm -mm. It's not week, killer. We, we never did it. We were busy around that time she was dying. We never kill her. And then them start point finger upon each other, say, I am. I am over there, so. I am touch her the most. And then the next one said, No, don't point no finger upon me, no. It's you. And then them just a point finger upon each other in other people in courtroom, right? Them should just, you know, we're going to leave that alone. So, that happened. They even tried to tell the judge that she died from meth overdose and they just chopped up her body because they didn't want people saying that they killed her. Is that scared? This real? No, this real? Listening to this. Has someone actually um So it real? Oh, well, well it real. Dumplings, it's real. The man them say, and a me killer, and a me killer. She overdosed and dead, but they might chop up our body because we never want people to say I'm me kill her. So let's cut up our body, you know? Mm -hmm. Dumb. Fan's husband later testified that she stopped using meth when she got pregnant with their son. So the people at me in the court just look for them three man, you're like, on a stop lie, top tell lie, tell the truth now. What on a story that all over the place taught the truth on a steady lady overdose and dead, but then her husband come forward and I say something else. And between me and Uno and the husband, I believe I don't believe Uno because the children are liar. Three of Uno, three liar. I don't believe a word we are come out on the mouth. So get Uno story right. No, a bare foolishness at me after that. Well, good and bad. Like the jury refused to convict the men of first degree murder saying that there was no evidence to prove that the men intended to kill Fan. Instead, they were found guilty of a lesser crime of manslaughter and were sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole in 20 years. And that was in 2000. So dumplings, what's out something with me now on the mind? We are in 2022. Mm, mm. See, that's why I love you. We think the same. 
A court-appointed psychiatrist found out that all three men suffered from psychosocial behavior disorders, which means they're mad. A joke. <laughs> A joke. It don't mean they're mad. It mean they had no emotions and had no remorse for what they have done. Ha Fang was set free. The 14-year-old, she was set free. No charge, no nothing. Because police said she brought so much evidence that they would not have gotten without her. So them thankful for that and them not charge her. Them just let her go. The story does not end there though. Nope. A mm -mm. couple months after this awful murder, strange things started happening around the building where it took place. Hmm. In one case, a female who knew nothing about the murder... She rented a flat on the fourth floor of the building with one of her friends. They then started to experience some weird stuff, such as feeling someone touching them while sleeping and also hear it, hearing women crying at night in the other room and over there empty, bear in mind. So every night they feel somebody touch them foot. And in them ear, females are cry in the room next door. What? Get get the hell out. Pack up your bag and come out. Me? Gone a long time. Other residents reported seeing a female ghost while they were on the stairs of the building. Yeah, them dip on the staircase one day and just see what appear for be a dopey. Is a woman at that? Let me tell you no, no. A fan. Mm -hmm. A fan. Is she? Yes, is she? But oh, them normally say when a person, you know what? Let me talk about that. After I wrap up the story, I don't want to get enough confused. Persons who worked in the air salon that was on the first and the second floor of the same building reported finding Hello Kitty dolls in the morning in front of the salon after them lock up in the night. And when they looked at the CCTV footage, they saw that after the owner of the salon locked up one night, there was a shadow behind him while he was walking out. Yeah, so them see all of this. And I mean, if a fan... My man had to say a she, because why has she did all this sort of right? Maybe she come back with her friend him. Yeah, come back with her friend him, say, all right, that is how we're going to live. I'm going to try too much foolishness. But I just have to say, you know, Dopey normally hide. She come up brawling. She all show herself on camera. That normally happen. You know what? Alright, back to the story. So because of all of these stories, no one wanted to live in that building. And everyone who lived there and worked there, they all moved out. And for years, the building was left empty until it was demolished in 2012. So that, my dumplings, is the story of the Hello Kitty murder. But you know what's still confusing to me, though? They normally say if someone dies mysteriously, then nobody don't know what kill them, who kill them. The person, well, the ghost, the person's ghost roam the earth until people find them killer, then them go race. Alright, alright. We know she did a aunt Afang because she want Afang confess. So that's why she did a roam the place. But what's still puzzling is after Everybody find out, say, alright, I them three man here do it. She still did a room the place. She had touched the girl them upon them foot. She had cried in the room beside them. Well, again, them said them here, females crying. It wasn't a female, like it wasn't one woman. Females. Maybe she come back with her friend them. Maybe. I don't know. And then again, it say, them said a shadow upon the tape. That possible, well, I bought them still. But say a dopey, you think a dopey attack you in the night and you have cameras all around your house and you go back the next day and you play it back. You gonna see something? I'm not sure. Well, maybe, maybe you gonna see something. 
I just mean I know about them something here. Maybe I don't I mean, at this point I don't know what to tell her no. So I don't know why she still a roam the earth. Maybe she come back as a guardian angel for the rest of females them. I don't know. Or I'm honest in no. I'm not gonna get into that because I don't know, like I must say. I just know say the story here are cruel, bad, wicked. And, and, you see, if you go dig up the story here further, like me, when enough, picture out there, yeah? Picture out there, what was shock, you know? I'm not prepared for seeing picture there. I just tell you, no. I just want you, no, kind of, but never want me. Me, enough. So me go, I'm a little nosy kitty. So me go snoop when I concern me. So me I tell you no dumplings. If you no go out there, go look or research the case here further. Picture out there and them raw and unedited. They must show everything. So be careful. But just I tell you no. All right. And this case was said to be the worst in Hong Kong's history. Wow. Anyways, dumplings, like I say, be careful. Oh, no, do. Don't go around stealing from these boys. Because remember, fun story. So if you're not plan to do it, don't do it. Don't do it. And be a kind human being. Okay? No, I tell you already. Subscribe for join the family. Turn on the post notification bell. So. YouTube tell you know when I come back. Alright? Like the video if you enjoy it. Tell you a friend about it. Comment down below so we talk about all of this. But, mm, you know, because in 2022, remember them said the man never come out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, man, afraid of them. Yeah, evil. But we are going to pray. And you know, in God we trust. Okay, dumplings? Love you guys. Mwah!